My name is Nana Mubahed. I'm a rising senior at the University of Maryland studying environmental science and policy. I'm Lisa Ramsberg. I'm a junior architecture major at University of Maryland. My name is Sarah Kat Simon. I am in environmental science, um, wildlife concentration, and broadcast journalism student at the University of Maryland. And I'm going into my last semester. This summer, I'm working under Dr. Jennifer Haddon, researching the role of non-governmental organizations in international climate change negotiations. And I'm specifically looking at the changing um, tone on climate change and turning it into a more of a moral issue as opposed to the traditional science framing. This summer I'm working with uh, Dr. James Cohen in the Urban Studies and Planning Department and we're researching sustainable cities and ecological footprint calculations. I'm working with the Be Informed Partnership out of the Entomology Department at the University of Maryland. And what we do is we work with beekeepers around the country to figure out what beekeeping practices are working and what aren't working and how we can try to save bees over winter because they're a really important part of our food chain. Since my major is architecture, I really wanted something that wasn't specifically policy or specifically environmental science. I wanted something that could really give me a broad understanding of sustainability and connect back to architecture, which I think Succinct does because of the fact that it's all about bringing together these different fields of people. I found the Sink internship posting and I, I read about it and it said, you know, actionable science and socio-environmental synthesis. And, you know, all these words are kind of, what do they mean? But if you kind of think about them, they have a really big importance in, in the world. And especially if you're interested in environmental science, if you're interested in, you know, the things that we're doing today that are affecting not only, um, you know, the planet, but also people, then this internship really meshes all of those things together. I would definitely say to 100% accept if you've already gotten in and if you haven't applied yet, definitely apply because it's probably one of the most worthwhile internship programs, especially if you're considering doing an internship for the summer because it's not only do you get the exposure to the full-time work, but you, um, you get to meet with these other interns and you have like a weekly kind of like a break from, from the work that you're doing, but you're still, you're still learning during the week, but it's, it's fun learning. I wouldn't shy anyone away from who's maybe not a science person um, to not have this internship because there's so many different opportunities within Sysync to make a difference. So for example, I'm doing you know communications and a little bit of science, but other people are doing strictly policy things and other people are doing engineering things. So whatever your major is, it's really possible to find your niche in Sysync. I really look forward to the once a week outings with the other interns and just getting to know them and it's really nice to be in a group with other students who are really passionate about what they're doing. I think that's been my favorite thing about this group of interns is just getting to know them and finding people who are equally as passionate as I am. The weekly events that we've had, like the, the, like the science writing uh, workshop or the, the data analysis workshop or just these field trips that we've taken to different NGOs or to the assessing headquarters, that definitely adds a different dimension to just doing work by yourself like all all summer long and then having this opportunity to then communicate with the other interns because everyone's doing very different work and I mean the networking component is, is absolutely wonderful too. I think that was really cool to you know hear from other people um, especially you know students who are like me who in the next few years are going to be looking for jobs looking at grad schools seeing what their interests are and seeing you know potentially collaborations in the future. I, I really enjoyed having that once a week kind of way to regroup, um, think about what we're doing, and kind of back up and see that in a larger perspective. I just felt like it was a really great way to make connections and see what else is out there in the field of sustainability. It's a really nice way to get to meet professionals that otherwise we wouldn't have. What we were all really interested in was learning about everyone else's internships. There's opportunity to grow into um, different subjects that you weren't familiar with before. Everyone's kind of trying to figure out what they want to do with their life, so it's really great to have an opportunity to see what everyone else is doing because it's kind of like, you know, having eight internships in one summer.